A key part of the Steigerwald Reconnection Project is the reconnection of Gibbons Creek to its historic floodplain. But what is Gibbons Creek, and why is it so important to the ecology and habitat at the site? Gibbons Creek is a small tributary of the Columbia River that is approximately the same size as Multnomah Creek in Oregon. It gathers water during rain and occasionally snowstorms from its watershed located above the refuge in the hills of the western Columbia River Gorge. Much of the city of Washougal is located within the Gibbons Creek watershed and therefore drains to the refuge. In the past, the creek flowed out of the hills to the flat ground south of SR-14 where it emptied into Steigerwald Lake and other wetlands. But in the 1960s, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers constructed the Washougal Levee System, which prevented the Columbia River from flooding the site. In the 1990s, the Corps routed Gibbons Creek through an elevated canal that flowed over the floodplain and connected directly to the Columbia River, completely bypassing the refuge's floodplain. This disconnected Gibbons Creek from the rich floodplain habitat and made it hard for species like native coho salmon and lamprey to get to their spawning grounds. Parts of the creek were channelized, further decreasing habitat value for these same native species. But more importantly, Gibbons Creek no longer flooded Steigerwald Lake and the adjacent wetlands, a process that nourished the floodplain by depositing sediment and nutrients transported downstream from the watershed. Without this routine nourishment from Gibbons Creek and the Columbia River, the site's floodplains became less productive and were overrun by invasive species, primarily reed canary grass. By the end of this summer, however, Gibbons Creek, one of the key ecological engines of the refuge, will once again flow through the refuge wetlands before making its way to the Columbia River. On the north side of State Route 14, the channelized stream bed has been remade with natural wood features and riffles that promote fish habitat. Below Highway 14, the old water control structure has been removed and a new channel that leads to Steigerwald Lake has been constructed. By the end of August, the elevated channel will be removed and water will flow naturally into Steigerwald Lake and out new floodplain channels through where the refuge's levees used to be. Removing the diversion structure and elevated canal will reduce flooding to SR-14, local residents in the port's industrial park. Fish salvage work during the construction of the project has shown just how important Gibbons Creek is to the amazing creatures on the refuge. In just a 400-foot section of the creek, not much longer than a football field, 6,300 young lamprey were collected and moved to a safe release site. Juvenile coho, sculpin, speckled dace, and steelhead will also benefit from the improved habitat. Birds like the American Dipper have been seen enjoying the newly created riffles upstream, while species like cinnamon teal and great blue heron will benefit from the flow of Gibbons Creek and the Columbia River into the floodplains wetland habitat. Because the water comes from the land above the refuge, it will be important for neighbors in the watershed to keep toxins and trash out of the creek. If the water coming to the refuge is clean, the restoration effort and the renewed floodplain connection will create amazing habitat for fish and wildlife that will benefit our area and the larger Columbia River ecosystem.